cool. Uganda people are cool. Like when you meet them, they are cool. They greet you. They want to help. They... So I had no negative, I mean, stuff to say about Uganda. I had, I had no negatives. Apart from this police issue, I had nothing. guys so less than 24 hours of my presence in Uganda and I was arrested by the police I mean it's not like I did anything really bad and I was arrested and I think it was kind of harsh that's why I want to do this video I actually arrived last night so I arrived around 7 30 and straight up from Entebbe to Kampala so I woke up this morning and I went to, uh, my hotel is kind of close to um, the Gaddafi Mosque. Those who know, they know. Gaddafi Mosque is in, like in the old Kampala. And when I woke up, I just took breakfast and I decided to go there to know the history about the mosque. Uh, it's like the biggest mosque in East Africa. So I went there, I created my content over there. And then on top of the, uh, how do you call it? minaret which is that long stuff the muslim like every mosque has that long minaret and uh, the, the tour guide was showing me places so when i got down from the, the the mosque i said okay let me just walk around so i was walking around i mean it's my first morning i was walking alone just trying to figure out some things around there before i know what to do so no, i didn't know there was so much of uh, boda boda in uganda like that i knew they, they deal with motorbikes and all of that but i didn't know there was so much like that so i just took out my my phone i started filming boda boda like i just wanted to send to a friend not even a content it wasn't even a content at that point because i just finished creating a content i was walking down just to see a few of the things in the neighborhood what the, the lady was showing me at the top over there from the from the top of the the minaret the mosque she was showing me the entire kampala so i just took out my phone to record the Boda Boda because there were so much at a particular junction so I was just recording within less than 30 seconds and I saw a policeman approaching me with another civilian I, I, I assume he's also a police but he wasn't in uniform he was in Mufti what am I doing I told him oh I'm just recording the Boda Boda he said I should bring my phone I'm like why should I bring my phone he said do I know what I'm doing is wrong I said recording Boda Boda like my voice was down he said yes i'm not supposed to record over here there's uh, police people military people around here why am i recording where which 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 media house do i work for i'm like i'm not working for any media house then they said i should bring the phone i said no i can't give my phone to you because i knew if giving the phone to them was like shooting myself in the foot so i said i cannot give my phone to you he said i should follow them to their station i said station for what he said for filming over here i'm like okay let's go because I, I thought I had not done anything. I didn't do anything wrong. So let's go. What is it? So we were going. The guy, one of the, the guy in the mufti was like, "You think you are stubborn?" I'm like, "I'm not stubborn, bro. You said I was filming Buddha Buddha. I showed you. I wasn't taking anybody over here. Like you saw, you saw the. Like, so I actually showed a video to them. This is the video. Watch it. It was less than 30 seconds, and they realized that I was taking Buddha Buddha. But they zoomed the video that there was a, a security person, a police officer at the back, 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 back. They had to zoom the video actually to, to show me that there was somebody. But I'm like, okay, you looking at the video, you could realize that my focus was on the Boda Boda people. It wasn't the person you are showing me at the back. Truthfully, there was somebody at the back. Far! Like, you had to zoom the video to see the people. And I'm like, that wasn't my motive. I just taking the Boda Boda to post on my status just to show my people that... I mean, I know Okada is in Nigeria and in Togo they have Zemija, Ghana also have this Okada. But like this much, this number of people or this number of motorbikes on the street, I had not seen it before. So that was the purpose of recording. So let's go. So the guy in the Mufti shoved me, like he shoved me and I'm like, bro, what is it? You said we should go, I'm following you. So why are you shoving me? Before I knew, there were other three or four police people behind. So I was like in the middle of about five people security personnel escorting me to their their police post so they were talking to me one of the guy the one fat guy who was wearing the uniform who approached me first was he was a bit calm but the guy in the mufti was sounding very rude i'm like we are going i'm not running away to anywhere but they insisted i bring i said i cannot give my phone to you if you say we should go to the office we go 
So we got to the office and they, they took me to, I don't know if it's their commander, and they said, this guy, we caught him filming, and the man asked me, what did I do? I explained to him that I was just taking a video of the Boda Boda people. I am actually coming from the Islamic University over there, the Gaddafi Mosque, which is very close to them. And so I just, this was actually my first video when I came out from. So he took the phone. They told me I shouldn't delete anything, so I did not delete anything. He took my phone. And then he saw all the videos I made, like they were all showing on the screen that they were all from the university over there. They saw the only video which was not showing like the university background and everything was that particular video, that small video. So he saw, he said, is this the only video you took? I said, yes, that was the only video I took. So the guy took the phone from me and zoomed it and showed that uh, there were police personnel sitting there, there were military people also sitting there. Yes, there were military people sitting over there, but they were far at the back. I wasn't even filming them. The man told me that place, every junction in this country is a security zone. There are police people, military people over there. Why was I taking a uh, video of them? I said, I wasn't taking them. He said, but they are showing in it. I'm like, okay, they are showing at the background far, but you could tell that. My focus was on the border border. They said, uh, what if somebody sent me to come and take pictures and videos of the area so that they can set a, snipe, a, a, a sniper position or something just to shoot somebody? I'm like, bro, I would have taken the entire area for that like the, another lady also came into the room where are you from they asked me where i was from i said i was from ghana i didn't want to say i was from Qatar to uganda because that would that would be like they would think you are you are you, you are from uh, how do i call it abroad i don't want them to feel that ghana wouldn't sound like abroad so i just told them i'm from ghana and he said uh, what shows that you're from Ghana? I said, I have my passport here. I was having my backpack because it was at my back with everything, like the way I came last night. So I just took my passport, I showed to him, and he saw the day, he realized that now nah, this guy just arrived in the country seven, almost 8 p.m. last night. So he asked me, do you know it's an offense to take video without, even some people are showing in a video, do you know that when they see themselves on social media? I said, okay, I understand. Then he asked me, if you were the one you see yourself trending on social media of somebody taking boda boda but you are passing by and you're showing the video i was like i wouldn't mind that is nothing i mean people take us videos every now and then we don't complain about that so there is nothing he said is that what you do in ghana i said in ghana policemen will not mind unless of course police is doing their work and you you go and stand in front of them and like you are taking them obviously showing them that you are taking them okay it's an offense but this one you could tell what i, I was doing then then they wanted to argue with me, blah, blah, blah. They, they took my passport, now he took the phone also, because it's their post, I had to give, because I know how brutal these people uh, can be, because I've seen a video of uh, Wodemaya at their airport where he was, he was harassed, like some, I think some six years ago, it took Wodemaya four years to ret return to Uganda, because he said he, he, was, he was abused over there at their airport, they took his camera, deleted every content he created. I was holding my vlogging camera, because it's a small camera, I hold it everywhere I go to. I was holding this camera. Then there's a lady, immigration officer. She saw me with a vlogging camera. He's like, come here. He's grown enough to be like my mother. I respected her. I went close to her. You know what she told me? He said, you took a photo. I was like, mommy, no. This is my camera. I didn't take any photo. It's like, why are you holding the camera? I said, I can give it to you for you to check. I gave her the camera. I flipped one, two. She said, I want to see your first and last picture. I was like, this is the first and this is the last. She said, I'm lying. I said, I cannot lie to you. She said, I have the right to make you miss your flight. I was like, what? This is the camera in front of you. You can check it. They flip, they flip, no pictures. Now, I said, can I have my camera? He said, no, I'm hiding something from there. You know what this guy did? This guy formatted my card. I was like, no way. He formatted my card and you know, like all my videos from Uganda was on that card. So when the guy formatted my card, I was pissed. I'm not going to lie to you. I was pissed because this is the only content that I have about Uganda that I want to show to the world how beautiful Uganda is. This guy formatted the whole card. And I, I told him, why would you do that? This is my money because this is how I travel. This thing that you did to me, you know that you've cost me a lot. This guy was like, are you trying to be arrogant? I was like, no way, you've cost me a lot. He said, I will make you miss your flight. He told me point blank. So I didn't want to get involved in anything. I was cooperating with them. Because they didn't, if Wodemaya, as big as he is, he was treated like that. <laughs> For me, I don't know, they can even slaughter me. So 
I was just cool. I was, but the man talking to me was kind of calm. He was cool, but he was letting me know that I was wrong and I was going to pay for it. In his tone, you could tell clearly that he wanted me to pay. And I'm like, look, I just came last night. They asked me my mission here and I told them why I came to the country and I was just going to leave for a few days, like four or five days. So there is no, I, I meant no harm. They said there are things going on in the country. Um, traders are on strike. They are not opening their stores. Uh, there was a, 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 a what? A coup, a coup attempt uh, we did recently. Uh, they stated three things that these things are going on in the country. The strike, uh, it says strike also. People are trying to to strike in the country or, or something like that. So all these things are going on. That's why they are uh, beefing up security and everything. So they don't want to see anybody. I'm like, look, I don't know any of these things. For me, I just came to the country just happy that I'm in another African country and happy. And you all, you all can tell when I you see my first video arriving in the country, I was just happy. Uganda is fun. Everything about Uganda was like, I, I, I meant no harm. So I told them I didn't know about all this. All I knew is Kenya people are demonstrating, they are doing stuff. But I didn't know that about Uganda. I didn't know they have stuff like that going on. So I meant no harm. We said, Lalai, I was, uh, 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 it's, it's not right. Another woman was in the, the room over there. She was annoying me more because I felt she was a mother. She was going to be, but she's not in uniform. But you, you could tell that she's also part of the security people. Blah, blah. I don't know what she was doing over there, but she was there because she was involved in everything. And there were some other people coming in. They were solving their problem. I was just on the side. They talked to me when other people, like they were bringing some Eritrea, Sudan people. They were coming in there. They were solving their issue. They were doing their payment, everything. And they were releasing them going. Not video. I, I think some of them didn't have papers or something. I don't know. But yeah, so this was going on. And I was like, he's, he asked me, so what should, what should we do to you? And I'm like, I'm sorry. You can tell I meant no harm. So just forgive me. I will not do it again. He said, no, 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 I cannot let you go like that. I cannot let you go like that. And I'm like, please, what will you do to me? He said, yeah, you know, as per Ugandan law, I have to pay around, like, if they want to take me money for what I have done, I have to pay, like, 1,000, um, 1,500 USD. I'm like, I don't even have that money on me. So when I said that, it was an opportunity for them. So how much do you have on them? I, I was trying to be very, very frank with them so that they would, they would just tell me to go so i just put my hand in my pocket i brought all the money i had on me because i didn't have a huge sum of money on me at the time i think i had 20 euro and a couple of uh, ugandan shillings i changed at the airport i paid my uh, my accommodation in it so i didn't know how much was left but i wanted to be very frank with them so that they would realize that this guy is genuine so i brought all the money out i was counting the money i didn't know because the money was huge i said the first one he said no, no, no. Well, Uganda, Uganda money can be confusing. This, this were his words. So bring it. Let me count. He counted it himself, and he said this, like, one hundred and thirty something thousand shillings. This is not even any money. This can only buy lunch for his boys. So I need to buy lunch for them so that they will become. The guys were not in the room. They were. It was like a chamber and a hall. They were in the other room, and I was in there commander or whatever's office so and the lady was also there other people were coming and going and all of that so he said yeah this money is a small money uh, it's only like 25 30 dollars so uh, i they actually wanted me to pay 1500 usd i told them that you, you could still this is all the money i have so i i don't have any other money on me and then he took the money he gave me the 20 euro that I should keep this. I told him, if you take that, I don't even know how I'm going to live here, how I'm going to pick Boda Boda back to my hotel because it was already getting, I mean, to midday, I was still there. They detained me for, for, for that long. I was there. He took all the, 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 the Ugandan shillings and now after I've given the money to him, then he called the guys who brought me from the street to the office that, um, you know, this guy is one of our brothers. He's from Ghana and you know i don't want him to live here with uh, any negative thing about uganda so you know what he said he's buying you people lunch bro i didn't say i was buying you took the money by force that you wanted to buy them like that i gave them the money to buy lunch so that they'll forget about this whole thing and blah 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 and the guy was like hey, you're lucky this is my boss saying we should take i wouldn't have taken i would have taken you would have locked you inside i'm like lock me 
you know, I didn't want to talk much because I know, like I said, I know what they, I know what they've done to uh, Wodemaya. I know what I saw a video before I came to Uganda. I even saw a video where even uh, this guy Bobby Wine or something like that. Yeah, he's like aspiring to be a president. I saw what they did to him in his own car. They broke the glass and 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 brought him up, pulled him, and all that. I didn't want to go through any of that because like less than 24 hours i came last night and it's morning around 9 9 a.m and i came in the evening seven, seven, seven almost let's say in the evening eight o'clock nine o'clock there about and in the morning around eight nine they were arresting me i didn't want to because i knew nobody over there I, I i didn't know who was going to save me and all of that and i didn't want to call anybody from home that this was happening so i wanted just to let them do their thing and let me go so when they took the money i'm like okay that's it so i'm like let me use this opportunity to advise everybody if you are going to uganda and you are making video i mean they they knew clearly because after that um i was supposed to meet some people when i called them and i told them this is what happened they were like yeah then they they knew that you were not a ugandan that's why they did that to you i mean filming boda boda is nothing if like you were filming the police people and all of that yes but Filming Boda Boda is nothing that you should be arrested for. And I knew when they saw me in the morning, they knew, okay, this guy is a foreigner or he's not a Ugandan or that's why they just approached me to do all of that. So I just said, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, as far as nothing happened, they did not beat me up. They did not lock me. They did not do anything. It's just money they took. Fine, let them take it. That's about $25 to $30. It's nothing. I mean, people, people, people are spending more more of that i mean i just don't want to talk about so this is the main reason why i was arrested and detained for so many hours for just filming boda boda like i've seen a couple of video people filming this so i didn't know actually i was going to get in trouble just doing this i just loved uganda from the airport i was happy about everything about uganda i was happy if you watch my first video you saw how like the airport was smooth like before this arrest everything about uganda for me even my first impression video i wanted to do about uganda i mean nothing negative was going to come there be because the people are cool uganda people are cool like when you meet them they are cool they greet you they want to help you so i had no negative i mean stuff to say about uganda i had i had no negatives apart from this police issue i had nothing i mean my first impression excellent from the airport i mean everything was jet in ghana we say jet but yeah the police will try to ruin my day and all of that but i feel like i shouldn't even film anything anymore but i don't know we are we are i have few days to go so definitely i'm going to I'm, I will still try and see if I can do because right now, as I speak now, even this video, I didn't want to do it. But as I speak now, I think I'm, I'm I, I don't know. I'm just going to uh, do my thing and we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much. If you've not watched the first video of my arrival here, kindly watch and then drop your comment, like the video, share it. And if you share it and this video is going, maybe I'll have the edge, I'll have the zeal, I'll have the energy to create more. So, Thank you so much for sticking and staying on Slide TV. I have more videos coming up. If not about Uganda, you never know. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. I mean, this is not to say Uganda is but Like I said, the people are sweet. The people are good. And just be careful when you get into the country because the, 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 there's police and military everywhere. Everywhere in the country. I don't know for whatever reason. But yeah, I just arrived. So I'm going to try as much as possible to explore. I know why there are so many police and military people around like that. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.